When I say bananas, you say peppers. Sippy, sippy, before we get started. Okay, uh, the last video that I filmed for you guys, the little Coca-Cola thing, there were a couple of questions repeated a bunch of times in the comments. And I thought we would make this video and then I could answer the questions while we make this video. Or by making this video, I would answer the questions. That's what I'm trying to say. So many of you guys were asking me, what is this bag in the background? And if I would do a good old fashioned what's in my bag video. Um, and then a lot of you guys were asking me about the fake fingernails that I was wearing yesterday. And I think I still have the extras in here somewhere. So we can talk about those when we get there. But really quick, if you guys want to show some support for the channel and for today's video, don't forget, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers Squad, and also uh, leave a like on the video uh, and a comment. All of these things really help out quite a bit. So let's do the what's in my bag video. It's been so long since I've done one of these. It's definitely a major throwback. So the bag is actually Dooney and Burke and I got it from Disney World when I was just there. Now Disney and Dooney and Burke have been doing these collabs for a couple of years and of course I love the Haunted Mansion ones the most. I think they've done two different Haunted Mansion designs and I have both of them. I have a tote bag version that I got, I mean, several years ago. I think they still sell this pattern as well. It's gray and it looks like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. You guys know what I'm talking about, but this one is the brand new one. Let's give you guys an up close look at it. I love the print. It's like all things Haunted Mansion. You have the Master Gracie changing portrait, the ghost bride, the hitchhiking ghosts, Madame Leota, you've got uh, the singing heads. I don't know why, but in the ride, this one always looks like a toilet to me. Everyone laughs at me every time I say that. Um, you also have Tomb Sweet Tomb, which if you guys are familiar with the rides, this is like a little embroidered picture hanging. Um, there's also the grandfather clock before you get into the seance room uh, with the 13 o'clock painted on it. You've got bats. You've got some other little ghostly portraits in here. I mean, if you're a Haunted Mansion fan, then pretty much every Everything about this bag is like a little Haunted Mansion detail. And I also love the purple on the straps. And then on the outside also I have this cute Mickey waffle keychain. They had so many realistic cute food items at the park last time I was there and I was eating it up. I wanted it all, but that's the only piece I got. But they had magnets, keychains, um, some even like little zipper bags that look like churros and stuff. So cute. I feel like Disney is getting really cute with their merchandise. So sticking right out of the top is one of my little reborn buddies. I don't think I posted the actual unboxing video for this doll yet, but if you guys have been a Swamp Family member forever, forever, then you guys will remember Alfred. He was this little teeny tiny antique celluloid doll that I used to carry with me everywhere. And I would just get such a kick out of like putting him in funny <laughs> little situations and taking pictures of him. But unfortunately, Alfred started to get a little bit extra janky and his legs and arms would start popping off because they were held together by strings of time. And so I had to stop carrying him and I have missed having a little miniature baby in my life ever since. So you guys know, like last year, I kind of started getting into reborn dolls. Uh, and so I keep trying to find tinier and tinier ones. This one is definitely one of the smallest ones I own. And I honestly bought him because I think he looks like Louis the 16th pre beheading. He just has this very like chubby old man look about him that I find extremely whimsical. And he actually will put a little pacifier or whatever in his mouth. But you know, all in good fun. Um, and if you guys have ever watched any of my what's in my bag videos before, it's just like weird stuff. There's only weird stuff. Honestly, this bag is pretty clean because I've only been carrying it for the past couple of weeks since I got home from Disney. So 
let's all enjoy it while it's clean. So the next thing I have in here is kind of a catch-all pouch. This was sent to me from technically Tarte, but their new sister brand that's geared towards younger people called Sugar Rush. And this is just kind of like some camera supplies in here. Like I've got my remote control for, this is the camera I take thumbnails with. I have a couple of pairs of glasses in here. One is completely impractical and for photo taking purposes only. Uh, so this is actually a knockoff of a brand that I love which is called Holes but I got these off of Yes Style and you cannot see out of these. These are not functional at all but they look really cool for pictures and stuff especially in the summer like when the sunlight just Ooh, hits the kaleidoscope just right. And then I have these, which you guys know I wear all the time, which these, surprisingly, even though they're clear, have UV protection. You guys know, especially on this channel, I wear these clear babies a lot to film with. It helps my eyes be less sensitive from the light. Also, I have an extra camera battery for the camera I'm filming on now. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, that was a good save. I started to drop it and then it just right back in the bag. Just threw this in here today because it's actually the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, which is Pumpkin Rose from Fenty Beauty. I think I'm getting back into my all orange makeup all over again, but it's like a dusty orange color. I feel like it's a very unique shade of orange. Like I feel like normally when you see um, orange lipstick, they're like vibrant orange, uh, neon orange. I feel like it's very rare that you see like a more muted orange, but I'm loving it. It reminds me of ColourPop's blotted lips. You guys know what I mean? Also, am I looking kind of dark? Is that better? Uh, so lastly, this will answer you guys' this question from yesterday because I still have a couple of these bad boys in here. So a couple days ago, I peeled off all of my gel nail polish like a heathen. And ever since then, I've been filming a lot of videos for you guys and I just feel like Maybe I should start having cute nails sometimes in my videos. So for the past couple days, I've been putting on fake nails. I cannot open this thing. I'm not sure if they make this style anymore. If they don't, it's a shame because it was definitely one of my favorite shades ever. So these are the Kiss Impress Nails and this is in the shade or the color Gold Digger, but they are like almost like a beetle iridescent, like green purple shift. I love them so much. Uh, these are impressed that I have on again today, but I feel like I stocked up on these orange to yellow glittery shift ones a couple of years ago now. So these they probably don't have. The next thing is actually a product. That's for a future episode of Terrifying or Try It. If you guys have not watched that video yet on my channel, I tested these crazy needle face patch masks last week. Uh, so this is like a sneak peek at what the next item is going to be. It is a rotating mascara wand. So I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to film today. So I shoved that in my purse as well. Also in here, I have a little pouch from Benefit. Hopefully you guys can see it's really pretty. It's like a pink faux alligator skin, but it also has like a golden glitter tone to it as well. All that's in here are my little alcohol wet pads that you guys probably know by now. I love to have on hand to sanitize everything from phones to fingers and everything in between. I also of course have a couple of scents of hand sanitizer in here, a unicorn one and an orange sickle one. I actually just had to refill my bag. We might find like a kind of empty one down here as well. I feel like I just had to restock and I also feel like this wig is slowly slipping off of my head. It is secured to my head not at all. It is only being held on by this hat. Up next are actually the things I was just telling you guys about. I shoved the leftover ones in my bag. So these are the needle masks that when I first did the video, I kind of wasn't that crazy about them, but you guys told me y'all could see some results. And these, these actually I really did like, and I've used one more time in between filming that video, but the blemish ones I highly recommend. Up 
next is my wallet. I got this on clearance at the end of last year. It is, I'm not going to say this brand right, but it is Maison, Maison Margiela. I love anything that is silver and foil looking. I almost think I put this in my Christmas haul because this was a gift from my parents last year, but I love anything that looks like tin foil because it reminds me of Andy Warhol. And I'm not going to show you guys what is in my wallet, but I will show you guys. I have a teeny tiny little itty bitty gator. A Swap family member sent this to me in the mail. I think he's supposed to be like a lucky pocket gator so i'm always keeping little bits of you guys everywhere i go and i also have a little note that a couple of swamp family members handed to me while i was at disney world i always like to keep little tokens of you guys with me at all times i'm not sure if that sounds creepy or not uh we have a receipt from Walmart the other day. Um, I have my AirPods in here and look at this hilarious like silicone duck case that houses my AirPods. I got this off of Yes Style. They have so many cute AirPod cases there. It's, oh my gosh, I'm like, I want them all. I just wanna let you guys know that these little things exist. I'm not sure if this is like, I mean, obviously it's a problem for more than just me because they make them and they manufacture them and they sell them. So other people must have these complaints too. I'm sharing my vast wealth of knowledge that I've learned from the experiences I've had in my life. But um, before I got these things, I actually had quite a difficult time keeping the AirPods in my ears, especially when I was like exercising or walking on a treadmill, uh, or sometimes I even put them in uh, to listen to horror narrations as I fall asleep at night. Um, but they make these little silicone grippy things that you can slide over the ear, ear AirPods, ear pods. Why didn't they call them ear pods? Um, and I think that the little grippy makes quite a a bit of difference. They make them in a bunch of different colors. I picked orange, Halloween. Um, so there we go. That was like a 20 minute iPod, AirPod. God, iPod. Oh my God. I just saw, I just seen did a video the other day and I feel like I'm just going to have to get one. They re-came out with iPods and I am flustered. I'm like, ah, why am I so excited? Um, all right, in here we've got my giant bottle of Advil that I never leave home without. I take way too much Advil. We have another receipt in here. Ooh, where is this from? Walmart, again, like three fourths of my life is spent running to Walmart. We have one single lonely dollar in here. Oh my God, it's my missing camera battery. I took this to Best Buy the other day because I was looking to buy more spare batteries and they didn't have it. And then I just like lost this one in the deep recesses of my bed. I have my Apple uh, charging cable. Well, this isn't an Apple one. I bought this one online because it's like much longer than the Apple ones and like much more convenient. I have this receipt. Oh my gosh, from one of my favorite little places to get drinks from. It's called Zero Degrees. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen these things online before, but they're like a split cup. Basically, you can have two different drinks in one cup, but I never say this right. Lychee, lychee, lychee crush. There's this drink called Lychee Crush and it's so delicious. All right, up next is this little notebook that I have and I don't know why I've always loved notebooks like this that have like a plastic protective covering sleeve on them oh boy uh and inside here it's actually like a scheduler but I just use these like blank uh notes kind of taking sections to jot down video ideas and um things that I remember from past life experiences literally and then I just make notes to myself that don't make any sense anymore. Boop. Oh yeah, 
okay so here is my missing hand sanitizer that I've been using which is little star this one smells really good I don't even really know. clean and soft scent like what does that even mean what's this scent angel murmurs um okay up next I've got my phone case that I swapped out recently I have been loving this one it is called sprinkles and it's from casemate it's so cute and these are so thick and protective this is the one that I have on now which is it's supposed to look like a suitcase um and I got this one from yes style so I could put one of those ring lanyard systems on my phone for Disney so I could have my phone around my neck as a lanyard I don't know why more companies don't put these little holes on the side of their phone cases so that you can like put these like, I love these things. I don't, like phone lanyards, I guess is what they're called. Um, but I love these things. I feel like they save me from dropping my phone so many times. Whenever I'm traveling, I always think it's so much easier to just have my phone around my neck in case I want to take a quick picture or something versus like putting it in a pocket or a bag or whatever. Also, I have this thing that I got from Epcot at Disney to give to my mom. I haven't given it to her yet. It is a mystery Gudetama. I think it's like a little miniature or plush or something they're called cutie beans I've never seen these before maybe you guys can leave me a comment down below so we know what to expect is it gonna be a plush I don't know up next I have a couple of things I have the dongle for my iPhone um, in case my airpods die I can still plug in traditional headphones I don't have traditional headphones in here so currently this would do me no good at all uh i also have a wall charger um these are so cute it's from this company called buku and all of their phone charging products are always so so cute so this is a wall plug but it looks like a rose we have them in a couple different colors but this one is obviously like the teal turquoise one last couple of things i have these claw clips that i just found from walmart i have this one in here but it's got like this kind of more rubberized like look at this it's so weird see it like expands but it's got this extra like grippy section if you're somebody like me and you have hair that's like way too long and you're always struggling to keep it up in a bun or like a high ponytail or something like this rubberized portion really helps to grip onto the hair and keep it in place better i have how many cents here i have 25 26 27 cents i'm gonna give you 27 cents of my mind wait i'm gonna give you my two cents i'm gonna give you my 27 cents i had to like think that phrase out uh last thing in here i think is harry yum yum um it is a lip balm that i've not had in a long time <clears throat> oh my god i'm like talking so much again today i'm losing my voice as i'm going along that's what i get for yelling for six hours straight at a camera last thing in here is probably one of my favorite lip balms of all time i, I always laugh every time i see this brand because it's literally called jack black like the comedian i don't think he has any association with this brand it's just another dude named jack black but there's all kinds of like skincare type stuff it is a brand that's like targeted to men targeted towards men this is a lip balm it's called intense therapy this is a brand new one um this is the black tea and blackberry it also has spf 25 but I don't know if this happens to you guys ever, but sometimes when I put on like intensively moisturizing lip balms too many days in a row, I will get a freaking mouth zit. And those are my least favorite kind of pimples to get. I feel like they're like the most painful. I can use this one multiple times a day for several days in a row and I never break out or have any problems. And the flavor is honestly my favorite because it tastes just like black tea. It's kind of a miracle and I think it's like $6.50 or $7. That is that. I don't, oh no, ooh, there's something else in here. Probably something I've been looking for for ages. Uh, oh, camcorder, camera battery from when we were filming the ghost 
videos at Disney World. Did you guys see my real ghost hunt adventure at the Haunted Mansion? If not, go watch it. I'm really proud of that video. I spent like three days filming it and like three days editing it. It was definitely a labor of love. There we go. That's it. The inside of the bag is green. And another thing that I love about Dooney and Burks is they've got the little um key clip in here, which I find like particularly useful these days because like a lot of keys you just have to have near the car like you don't actually have to stick it into the ignition anymore so normally i would have my car keys in there as well and right now i want to like redo my keychains i feel like my keychains should be much spicier than this uh but right now all i have is this like realistic tag from Corova Milk Bar, which you guys know I love Clockwork Orange. It's my favorite movie of all time. So it's supposed to be like, oh, I visited the Corova Milk Bar and this was my souvenir that I got. Uh, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to everybody who requested this. It's always fun to get like specific video requests and then to actually do them. So uh, thank you guys so much for all the curiosity about my bag and my fingernails and I love Johnny. Thank you guys for being here, for being active, for leaving me fun comments, uh, for participating in the channel, for being here, for being you. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye.